everyone, so before we begin with our video, we would like to make a small request. Kindly subscribe to our channel and like the video if it helps you and also share it with your friends who may benefit from the same. Hey guys, so today we'll be discussing the implementation of a buck boost converter on MATLAB on Simulink. So I'm Sankarsh Nduka Prasad and I'll be taking you through the design as well as the simulation part of it. So the first param first we'll discuss the parameters given. The supply voltage is 24 volts and we desire an output voltage of 12 volts. It will come as minus 12 volts in the simulation with an error tolerance of um, 5% and the resistance of the load is 15 ohms and the ripple of 1% and switching frequency of 40 kilohertz. Now, um, duty cycle ratio is, we know that the formula of duty cycle of a buck boost converter is V output divided by V output plus Vs, where V output is the voltage output and Vs is the source supply voltage. And with this, you get 12 divided by 12 plus 24, which is 12 by 36, which is 1 by 3, which is 0 0.333. So, and after this, we calculate the minimum inductance. So, minimum inductance is equal to R into 1 minus D whole square divided by 2 into F, where F is a switching frequency, which is 40 kilohertz, and we get 83.3416 microhenry. And then you get the inductor current, IL, is equal to supply voltage into duty cycle divided by R into 1 minus D square which will give you 1.9999. Similarly, you calculate the rate change of inductor current, Vs into D into T divided by L. T is one by the switching frequency, and then the minimum inductor current, which is IL minus delta IL by two, and then capacitance is equal to D into R into ripple into frequency, which you get it as um, 55.555 microfarad. So this is a simple circuit diagram of the buck boost converter that we shall be simulating. So as you can see, um, the you have a supply voltage, you have a switch, you have an inductor, and then you have a diode, and you have a capacitor, and then we'll have a resistive, resistive load in our case. So now moving on to the simulation. So what we'll need to do is when you go to library browser, we'll uh, search for a DC voltage source that we'll be using to provide the supply voltage in the beginning. So let's take the DC voltage source out, drag and drop, library browser. Now we'll take RLC branch. So there are various types of RLC branches. You have series RLC branch, parallel RLC branch, series RLC load. So we need a series RLC branch so we can specify the values in terms of Henry, Farad and Ohms. Otherwise, we'll start specifying in terms of uh, power. And then we'll take a MOSFET. We'll use a MOSFET as a switching device. And then we'll also need a voltage measurement block to measure the voltage So the MOSFET, it didn't get it didn't get added to the model. So we'll take the MOSFET now. So copy paste the series RLC branch three times because we will need an inductor, a capacitor, and a resistor separately. We'll also need a diode. Rotate the diode, rotate the series RLC branches. So now select only inductance. So go to branch type and select L and specify the inductance value 83.34 e to the power of minus 6. That means micro. And now capacitance is 55.555 and um, farad.
e power minus 6 and now resistance of 15 ohms So now we'll also put our switching device. Yeah. So now we'll need a display block and a duty cycle block which will convert. Um, so you specify the input duty cycle and it will give up it will generate a pwm so it's a pwm generator dc to dc pwm generator you need a constant input block for it so our this thing is 12 by 36 and yeah 15 ohms so now let's go ahead and connect the voltage measurement block. You need a display block. Now Input voltage is 24 volts. So now it will throw an error because I didn't add a power GUI block. So let's go ahead and add a power GUI block. So we made another mistake now. So we need to go into the PWM generator and change the switching frequency to 40 kilohertz as per as our design because the capacitance and the inductance values all depend on the switching frequency so now once this is done as you can see the voltage is around 11.5 volts a required desired voltage was 12 volts so it's okay because it's within five percent of tolerance so that's it for this video kindly like our video if you if it helped you subscribe to our channel and um, do check out our other videos and yeah thank you